Hello there and welcome to Central Finland. Welcome to our stable. Today is gonna be the day when our stable gets finally some new inhabitants. Here is everything not yet quite ready, but almost. It was a very very great day uh, that day and we had to drive a bit before we then got uh, where we wanted to go. And then we got our new friends into the car, which are da -da -da -da. sheep! <laughs> I was very, very afraid of uh, driving uh, with a sheep in the trunk. Although many people said that it's no problem and they have their enough space and everything's gonna be okay. But still, living animals in the car while you are driving is not... Um, well, a dog is something different than six sheep. Everything went then surprisingly, very luckily, but very surprisingly as well. Uh, very well. Um, I sometimes think how much luck we have in some things and uh, this was definitely one of those things. Then we got home and the sheep got to know their new home. We actually, we wanted to have four girls, but then we were asked if we want to have um, two girls with babies. Because there were two, two girls who just um, like one, one and a half months ago had babies. And we were asked if we want to get those as well and get the babies also. And there we of course said yes, the babies. On the first day it rained a lot and um, almost the whole day, so the sheep spent the day mostly just inside. And on the next day it was then their first real day and then they were exploring the whole yard. Uh, it was so nice because it uh, snowed in the night so as you look out of the window you saw some black sheep in the snow 
and they really they are walking all around We have this uh, fence so that they don't go to the street but luckily our own road is 400 meters long so even though they would go somewhere they well they would be only on our own road and on the fields and so they can't really go anywhere because there is so much snow that they sink in the snow <laughs> as soon as they are going somewhere um, except now and it has been a bit colder now they can also walk on the on the snow like i told in the previous video that when it's cold enough uh, when it's warm at first and then cold enough then the snow surface uh, freezes and then it carries you however these are they sheep usually don't go that far and mm, oh she went to sleep <laughs> All of them have been really, really nice. Mm, these sheep have been mostly just uh, in company of other sheep, so not that much with people. That's why they needed uh, some time before they came to you. But it was also a very nice thing to experience that when you gave the time for them, and when they felt that they can trust you then they came to you and especially for the kids who usually don't have that much patience for them it was so nice that the sheep came already on the second day and our son could then stroke them or only one only one came on the second day and then another and two of the girls are still not that came to us. They are still a bit shy, but you can touch all of them already now. But there are clearly one or two who also like it a lot to get get stroking and so on. And what was also a very nice thing is that um, what our neighbor told me, our neighbor, he lives seven kilometers apart, however, a neighbor, he said that he remembers as he was a child that the previous owner of this house, he had sheep. So it means we brought some old life in this house again, which, which is also very nice. Yeah, so now as there is still so much snow, they are all around, but then later when the snow melts and the, um, 
thing is not that icy anymore. Then they of course get a fence and a place where they can then stay so that they don't, go, they don't run somewhere where they are not supposed to be or go eat, go eat salad or so. So, the first days with our new friends have been really, really nice. And um, we didn't know that much about sheep before, but um, now after these days, we can only say how, how nice and friendly and cute animals sheep are. And yeah, it's a big fun bit. <laughs> Chickens are of course all over nice and it's so nice to look at them but they are not that, they don't like to get um, that somebody's touching them and so on. So sheep are a bit better, <laughs> better animals for also for the kids and like cats or dogs who like it as well. Oh, and one thing we have to learn is how to share a sheep because as you can see <laughs> they are already quite hairy and their wool has to be trimmed so that's something what we want to try as soon as they are a bit dry as soon as it doesn't snow or rain every day and there is actually uh, supposed to uh, a woman was supposed to come who it was planned that she she makes it and she shows us a bit how to do it but uh, she unfortunately didn't have time so now let's see if she managed to uh, come or or if we just make it by ourselves because you obviously you have to learn how to do it because it's something you have to do twice a year for the sheep and it shouldn't be that difficult i just thought it would be nice <laughs> um to watch at first how somebody somebody makes it but on the other hand there's of course youtube <laughs> where you can uh, learn everything and um, something like that is of course you also learn things when you just do them. So <laughs> let's see if you want to get uh, get to see also a video of our oh, first time, then just let me know. <laughs> then let's see. So now let's see how our life with a sheep is going to be. If you want to see more about it and um, how the kids grow up and so on, so, I mean the sheep, sheep kids, <laughs> how the sheep kids grow up and so on, then stay tuned. Mm. Otherwise, I wish everyone a nice weekend and hope to see you next time again. Until then, bye bye.
bye